In the town of Greenfield, east of Indianapolis, a fourth grader is dead. His parents say he took his own life because of relentless bullying. Earlier in our five o'clock hour, you heard from the little boy's parents. Now hear from his grandmother who lives in Huntington. 21 Alive reporter Amelia Miles is live now in studio with more. Yeah, Heather and Linda, this is 10 year old Sammy Toish. His family says he was spontaneous and had a bright smile that was hard to miss. But on May 5th, that all went away. Sammy Toish. A 10 year old boy who lived in Greenfield. I don't know, he's just as pure as snow. Cynthia is Sammy's grandmother. She says she received a text to call her son right away. He was distraught and he told me Sammy was gone. And I'm like, speechless. His family said Sammy died by suicide Sunday morning on May 5th. According to Sammy's family, he was being bullied up until the night before he died. They say it started last year in elementary school and continued this year at Greenfield Intermediate School. People trust their kids. They entrust their kids to the schools. But now it, that trust is breaking down. What started as words, his family says, eventually turned physical. Twist tells me her son talked with the school more than 20 times about the bullying. That they can't just say they have zero tolerance because that doesn't mean they're zero tolerance about bullies. Their zero tolerance means that they don't have any responsibility for it. Greenfield Superintendent Dr. Harold Olin sent a statement saying there was no bullying report ever submitted by the parents or the student. But he also said the school's administrators and counselor had regular conversations with the family throughout the year, but he wouldn't share the content of those conversations. Really close to his mom. As Sammy's family prepares for his funeral, his grandma has one last thing to say. I just always told him, I said, Grandpa and I love you so much. Mother was really distraught and my heart goes out to her and all mothers who've lost a child. Now the month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month. If you or someone you know needs help, we included a list of resources in this story on our website. That's 21alivenews.com. Reporting in studio, Amelia Miles, 21 Alive News. Okay, thank you so much, Amelia.